Hello class, this is Professor Burko, and in the next few weeks we're going to have a series of what I call pre-writing assignments to help you get ready and plan for the research paper. I think a lot of inexperienced students open up a blank document, start to write a research paper, a long paper of six to ten pages in college, and they get writer's block. They just freeze. I know it. I don't think it. I've been teaching for many, many years, and um, I know how to do away with writer's block, and that is to, to break up the project into discrete segments and work on, on each segment by itself. So that's what pre-writing exercises are. Uh, for instance, um, write the introduction by itself. Later on, write the conclusion by itself. Yeah, you haven't gotten to the end of the paper yet, but you know it's a good idea to write the conclusion early because the whole research paper is supposed to aim toward that conclusion and having a landing place, almost like in a mystery novel, you know, where you, you can't write 300 pages of a who done it and not figure out who done it before you wrote the book. So. Yes, you draft the introduction, you draft the conclusion, they're drafts. You go back and revise them later on when you're almost ready to finish the paper. Maybe you work on the works cited page all by itself. You don't put it off until the last minute and try to slam it together at midnight when the paper is due. Um, there are other things like putting together what I call the required organizing device that helps you kind of work your way through the paper and list your sub arguments and one of the things it does it asks you to address, do I have a piece of evidence that really convinces the reader in each sub-argument? And maybe you go through it and go, oh my goodness, I don't have a piece of evidence to support this one sub-argument. That's going to weaken my paper. And you go out and you do that. Another thing you might do is list what the most obvious counter-argument is and ways you might want to refute that, okay? Um, there are other pre-writing assignments that are more subtle. For instance, later on I have an exercise on if you're having trouble generating six pages, and many students do, they're like up to five pages, and they're like, what do I have to do? Maybe I can make the margins really big and the, the point size of the type, 14 points, and, and try to make it look like the paper's longer than it is. And that's the wrong approach. You won't fool any teacher doing that. So there are exercises you can do to generate more material if you're getting close to the end and you're thinking, what do I do to make this paper not just longer, but more substantial. So these are all pre-writing exercises that will help you put the paper together one section at a time. But I have an ulterior motive for doing this too. Let's be honest, when you're teaching online, it's pretty easy for somebody to try to go out and buy a research paper or grab one from somebody they know that's already been submitted and passed in another class and then try to get by with you know plagiarized paper basically and sending it into the teacher every semester i have one or two students who do that the vast majority of my students are honest and um, this discourages that because even if you were trying to plagiarize, you would have to take a 10 page paper and break it down to its individual elements and work on those one at a time and submit them to me as if you wrote it yourself. And to tell you the truth, that's a really good exercise. If nothing else, they'd be learning about how that paper that they're trying to submit as their own was put together and why it's good. Uh, no, don't go and try that at home, <laughs> okay? I really want you to learn how to succeed in college, and a big part of that is learning what pre-writing is, and that's what we're doing right now. It's kind of a hmm, more sophisticated concept than just sitting down with a blank document and starting to write with no clue on where you're going to go. Write it in discrete sections, so that's what the next few weeks are going to help you with is all these little exercises to help you put the longer research paper together. And they'll seem like it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of time, but actually this saves a lot of time. So that's why I've made these assignments for you. Enjoy it and then take this pro, um, this pro, uh, that's easy for me to say. Take this approach to breaking uh, paper into, into discrete segments and working at them one piece at a time to courses beyond mine. Don't do it just because I asked you to do it in my class. Learn from this. Learn how you can use 
this pre-writing process to help you in every paper you have to write beyond this class. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions at all as you're working your way through the next few weeks, don't hesitate to send me an email. I'm always here at the other end of the internet willing to help you succeed. Have fun with it. Don't approach it like a chore.